what do we do exactly on like a daily basis to find those weak sides of our nature or of us? What do you do to find out about those weak sides? Hmm. That means how do you study yourself? How do you know whether you're weak or you're strong? Okay. Look at what you like and look at what you don't like. Okay? Easy. Look at what you like and what you don't like. Then ask yourself, why I like this? Why I don't like this? Question yourself. In Tariqat, they say, don't ask why. Meaning you have to find out, not just to ask why. America time, why? Eh? Hoping for the answer to come, demanding for the answer to come, but you don't understand. When you're finding, 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 when the answer comes to you because you're looking, uh, you will discover it, it will stick to you, it becomes part of you. But when you just, somebody just give it to you like that, you have no connections with it, okay? So, what is it that you like? Why, why you like it? So, especially, you are first uh, taking serious steps inside this way. You're going to say, I like, I like to eat this. Why you eat this? Why you like to eat this? Because it tastes good. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Say, yeah, it is. If you're eating it just because it tastes good. Because if everything that we're doing is for the sake of Allah, now, the reason that we eat, it is to give us energy so that we can worship. Tastes good, tastes spicy, tastes this, tastes that. It is just by the way, you understand? So now, what is the reason for us eating? So you go deeper, you're going to ask, why I eat? Just one thing. You can spend one whole day, depending on your level, you can spend weeks or months asking yourself that, answering, finding, finding. Just one thing. And we do thousands of things every day. Hmm. So, entering into this way to ask. This is part of discovering yourself. <sighs> I don't like to do this work. Why you don't like to do this work? Because it's dirty. So what if it's dirty? Keep asking. Don't settle for any easy answer. Then you will come to understand that you are not as uh, sophisticated as you think you are. Your ego is not sophisticated at all. It tries to look as if it's so sophisticated, it, so much philosophy, so much psychology, so much this, so much that, but it comes down to very basic uh, fundamental uh, desires, likes and dislikes. I don't like it because I'm lazy, that's it. You say to yourself, don't say to other people, please. Don't try to be psychologist, therapist to other people. You do to yourself. You understand? Just I say, oh, I don't like it because I'm lazy. Hmm. That's good to know. Why I like this? I like it because it tastes good. Okay, it's halal. Okay, that's not good enough now. You're eating that, it's halal. It's a, let's, now, let's do this for the sake of Allah. How we can turn that to become for the sake of Allah now? And then you're going to see your limit. You understand? You're not going to go too much deep into it. So, step by step, <coughs> then you're going to find out a little bit more about yourself. Then you're going to say other things. Why am I in this religion? Why am I a Muslim? Anybody ever ask? Hmm. Those who are looking for their faith must ask themselves every day, why am I a Muslim? So many say, because I'm born into it. That's not faith. No faith, you're born into faith. You understand? That faith, you discover it. Something is opened up to you, you understand it. Why am I in tariqat? Why do I pray? Why do I do this? And if you are looking, 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 and if it's not, don't settle for any easy answer. You may say, oh, okay, I do it for the sake of Allah. What does that mean, for the sake of Allah? What does it mean? I pray. Why do you pray? I pray for Allah to be pleased with me. Why do you pray then? Really? Is that really what you're thinking when you pray? Oh, no. I pray because I fear to be punished. Hmm. 
Okay. Now we can work with something because you are sincere, you're honest with yourself. I pray because it makes you feel good to pray. Okay. It's somewhere. It's not wrong. None of these answers that you give, they're like wrong 100%, but it's not sincere 100%. You understand? I'm praying because Allah loves me to pray because it is in order. Although I don't like it, all of this, I'm praying to please Him. So when you do something to please someone, it doesn't matter how you feel. It's what matters is how that one feels. One day you may want, you may be so in love with praying, next day you, you don't want to pray. What are you going to do? One day you pray, one day you don't pray. No, it is an obligation. And it makes that one happy. Maybe some days you're doing it, and you're doing it full sincerity. Some days you are not. But in the way of tariqat, it is not the days that is so easy for you to do when you do, you're going to get great reward. It is the day when you don't want to do, and you're stepping on your ego, and you're cutting that ego, that you do, that you'll get great reward because of that. You understand? It's so easy to do something because you like to do it for the sake of Allah. What if you don't like to do something for the sake of Allah? That's a time where you're taking the will into your hands and you submit to Allah's will. So, inshallah, slowly, don't go too crazy, step by step. You have things to make you busy. You have things to, for you to do to worship, to make zikr, to be busy outside, especially if you're men. Hmm? Get your mind off it because so many things is not going to, you're not going to understand or you're not going to be able to fix just because you sit and you think, okay? It doesn't work like that. Because the answer doesn't just come from you sitting and thinking. The answer may come through here, through here, through work, through this, through that, through another person. Because that now, that is the life cycle of a man. Answer just doesn't come when it's summer. Answer may come in the winter. It may come in any season, any situation, but you have to look. Inshallah. Bismillah. Fatiha. Okay. Uh, women, any question? <laughs>